Hello everyone, this is my next video. Today I am going to explain with code question number 199 binary tree right side view. Given the root of a binary tree, imagine yourself standing on the right side. Return the values of its nodes. You can see ordered from top to bottom. See what they given question, they given root of binary tree. We need to imagine that we are stood at the right side and we need to return the its nodes values from top to bottom. See in this example, okay, this is level 0, this is level 1 and this is level 2. We need to return which is visible to us because we are stood at right side view. We can see 1 and 3 and 4. Here 2 is added by this 3 and 5 is added by this 4. Let us briefly understand in the whiteboard how the right side view uh, of the binary tree is going to work. Let us we can take an example. We are stood at right side. Okay. If you stood at right side means we can see the node from this order. Okay. We can see 1. We can see 3 because 2 is added by this 3. We can see 6, uh, 5 and 4 are added by the 6, we can see 7. Okay, this we need to return as our output. Okay. Let's how it is going to work. Let's we can understand now. If the root is null means just we will be written. Okay. In case if the root is not null means what we are doing, we are taking one answer vector, we are checking the answer size and our level. Both are equal. If they both are equal means we will be pushed on the answer vector. Our root value will be pushed. Okay. Afterwards, we will recursively uh, traverse right, then left. Pre-order means root, then left, then right. We will traverse. But uh, in this approach, what we are doing, we are using reverse of pre-order. Root, right, then we will traverse left. Okay. This is the logic. Okay. Let's we can understand how the working a reverse pre-order traversal is going to work. First, we will traverse root, then right, then left. Okay, here first the root is 1. Okay, we are passed the root 1. This level is 0. Okay, now we will check in the root is null or not. Yeah, it's not null. So, we are checking. Your answer size is starting. Our answer size is 0. Our level is also 0. Then both are equal. So, we are pushing the root value in the answer. Now, 1 is pushed. Now, we are traversing right. The right is 3, the root is 3 and the level order is 1. Now, uh, 3 is not equal to none. So, we will not execute this one. Now, we are checking. Our answer size is now 1. The level is also 1. See, both are equal. Then, we are pushing our root value in answer vector. Now, 3 is pushed. Now, we are recursively traversing right subtree. The right is 6. The level is 2. We are checking. The 6 is null or not. It is not null. So, now we are checking this statement. Now, this, this uh, statement will not execute. Now, we are checking. Our answer size is here 2. Okay. Level is 2. See, both are equal. Now, we are pushing 6 in the answer vector. Now, we will be recursively traversing right. Here, right is null. If it is a null, means we will be written. We will go back. Now, we will traverse left. Here, left is null. Will go back in return. Now for this three, the left sub uh, for this three right traversal has completed. Now we'll traverse left. This left is five. Okay. Order is two. Now I'll check the condition. Your answer size is three and level is two. Both are not equal, so we'll not push. Now we'll traverse right. The right is null, we'll go back. We'll traverse left. The left is null, we'll go back. Now this traversal has been completed. Now for this three, root has completed, left has completed, right has completed. Now we'll go back. Now root has completed, uh, left right traversal has completed. Now we'll traverse left. Here left is two. Now we'll pass it two as root as parameter. Now check two is not null. We will check the condition now. Uh, answer dot size is three and level is one. These are not equal, so we will not return anything. We will Traverse right. The right is null. We'll go back. Now we'll traverse left. The left is 4. And the level is 2. Our answer size is 3. And the level is 2. Both are not equal. We'll not push anything. Now we will traverse right subtree. A right subtree is 7. Okay. The, the root 7 is passed. The 7 is not equal to null. We are checking the condition. Our answer size is 3. And the level is 
3. Answer size is also 3, level is also 3. See, both are equal. Then we are pushing this 7 in the answer vector. Now we will traverse recursively right. The right is null, we will go back. Now we will check the left. The left is null, we will go back. Root has been completed, right traversal has been completed. Now we will traverse left. The left is null, we will go back. Now the traversal has been completed. Now we will be returning 1, 3, 6, 7 as answer. Okay. This is the logic by using the reverse pre-order traversal. Let's we can enter into the coding path. Now we are creating traversal function. We are passing the parameters of root. It is a Torino type level. It is an integer type and we will be creating vector uh, with the reference of answer. Now we are checking the root is null or not. If the root is null means we will return. In case the root is not null means we will be checking the condition. Uh, we are creating an answer vector. Uh, that size should be equals to level. Okay. If the if it is equal means what we are doing, we are pushing the root value in answer vector. After that, we are recursively traversing right subtree, then left subtree. In the traversal, we are traversing root right, then we are incrementing level. We will be stored in the answer. Now we created a right side view as main function. We are passed the root as parameter of tree node type. Here we created empty vector with integer type with the name answer. Here we are calling the traversal function. We are passing the parameters of root uh, level with starting zero to store the node values. We are using answer. After complete traversal, we are returning answer. Here we are passing the root level answer as parameter. Okay. Here root is the A. Okay. Now we are checking the A is null or not. It's not null. Okay. So this statement will not execute. Now you're checking our answer size is equals to level or not. Okay. Starting what we are doing, we are creating one answer. Okay. That size should be equals to level. Level starts from zero. Okay. Our answer size starting is zero and the level is also zero. Okay. Then we will be pushing press A in the answer vector. A will be pushed. Now we will traverse right. This right is C. Now we will be checking. The C is null or not. It's not null. Now we are checking answer size is equal to level or not. Your answer size is A is 1 and the level is also 1. Yeah, this condition is true. So we are pushing this C in the answer vector. Now we are traversing right. This right is E. Now we are checking E is null or not. It's not null. So we are checking the condition. Now our answer size is 2 and the level is also 2. Both are equal. If the equal means we are pushing this root value in the answer vector. E will be pushed in the answer vector. Now we are recursively traversing right subtree. A right is null. If it is null means we will go back. Root has been completed. Right has been completed. Now we will traverse left. A left is null. We will go back. Now, root has been completed, right has been completed. Now, we will traverse left. Here, left is D. Now, we will check D is null or not. It's not null. Now, we are, now we are checking this condition. The answer size is 3 and the level is 2. Both are not equal. 3 is not equal to 2. So, we will traverse a right subtree. Here, right is null. We will go back. Now, we traverse left. Here, left is F. Now, we checking the condition. F is null or not. It's not null. So now we are checking the condition here, f, the answer size is 3 and the f uh, level also is 3. Here both are equal. So we will be pushing this root in answer vector. f will be pushed in the answer vector. Now we are traversing right. The right is null, we will go back. Now we traverse left. The left is null, we will go back. Now root has been completed, right traversal has been completed. Now we will traverse left. Now the node B came. Now check the B. B is null or not. It's not null. Now you are checking this condition. Your answer size is 4. And the level order is here 1. Both are not equal. So we will not execute this statement. Now we traverse right and left. Here right is null. We will go back. Now we traverse left. And left is null. We will go back. This is the after traversing. This is the result. This is this we will be written as our answer. Let's take an understanding 
tan complexity and space complexity of this logic. The tan complexity is taking big of n. Here where n is the number of nodes in the binary tree, we are traversing all the nodes exactly once. So it is taking the time of big of n. When it comes to the space complexity, it is also taking big of n. Because we are creating here empty vector, it stores all the node values in answer. So it takes the space of big of n. Thank you guys for watching my video.